quite the stipulation. I don't, I don't have anything to say about items one through one through seven on on the stipulation. Um, and like I say, item eight right, basically asked for conditions twenty five and twenty six to be deleted. And uh, the twelve month period, twelve month time period, is that to be extended, Jeff? Is that what this is asking? Yeah, it would be extended from the date that the stipulation was agreed to. So we, we already imposed the conditions on June 26th. Had there not been appealed, the clock would have begun to run. Um, on June so this is just restarts the clock. No, and we extend that time period past the one year regardless. But we have to do it, and I think we've done it before. We've done it. Usually the petitioner will come in, the applicant will come in yeah. front of us uh, after it's already expired or, or when it gets close to it, say they need additional time and give us a reason. And the board has done that before. And then we're saying that, yeah, we'll take testimony, handle it as a new hearing. And sure. Yeah. Of the 24 conditions, Jeff, which ones um, are not enforced by the state? Regulations. To go through specifically, I mean, uh, the permitting and everything was discussed in the original hearings that were here in 2011. Um, the application, Mark West said they would install a compressor facility uh, with recovery units, uh, flare, and I think that was just the basis of the application and the testimony discussed. Uh, a structure um, and then maintaining all requirements for spill prevention and things of that nature. Um, some of the ones such as landscaping, um, emergency truck traffic, uh, accessing the site, and some of the other things that, that we requested along with training emergency personnel, um, those, those weren't put not necessarily before the board or necessarily required by law. So I think there are some that not that they're not reasonable, couldn't be invoked by the board, that's not what I'm saying. Just that they're not absolutely required to do it. I have one other question for you, John. Conditions 25 and 26, are these supported by our zoning ordinance? Yeah, in, a, in our the decision that we get submitted following the June 26th hearing, we put support under the ordinance for all of them. The ordinance is fairly broad in, in giving us discretion to attach conditions. Again, the law is going to require us to, to put in reasonable conditions. So it's, it's a pretty broad term as well. We have discussed uh, enforcement. Yeah, enforcement, I, I think that's enforcement of 20, 25, or 26, 26. Think, with regard to the air testing. Uh, all we have is a means to provide the testing, but not a means to so enforce we have, it. We have go, depending on what the we have means to get it. We have a date, right? Well, we don't, but the third party agency would require would come in and test it. But that's where it would end. We don't have an enforcement mechanism, um, depending on what those readings provided. They they can control the permit, so I'm sure they can pull the permit if necessary. <laughs> <coughs> we open, open it up. And if you guys don't have anything else to say, we'll open it up. I need to do that Yeah, we'll just read public comment. I think it's important that we don't rehash everything that's happened at prior hearings and let's try and keep it somewhat brief. If you'd like to speak, please, at the pressure of the podium. Use the podium, speak the budget.